know who I am. Yes, I do. What's your name again? Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, is all showcasing how cool people live the aquascape lifestyle. Oh, yeah. This is the best thing that ever happened to me. I love it. Even yeah. with this guy? Especially with this guy. Right? Especially with this guy. Well, I heard you're not just a gardener. I see that you're a gardener, but I heard you're an artist. Yes, I am. Can I see what you do? Tell me. I love my job. Well, I'm Greg. You are? Carol Wilkes. Some of my work. Oh, little cat. Yes, that's, that's kind of cool. right there. This. Beautiful. This, wow. This. This. You are talented. That. I do photography as well. That was when my kids were little. They're now in their 50s. <laughs> are you a grandma? I'm a great grandma. Well, you are a cool great grandma. I'm 77. Good for you. I love it. These are my watercolors. These are more pastels. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, look at the pondless. Holy cow. I love how you have your kitchen table right here, and you look out, and you hear and see that. I designed it that way. That was a smart lady. I had it curved also so I could see it from the kitchen window. Smart. All along here, you can look out back, and then there it is again. Right, and you have this awesome slope. That is like a, wow, look at that frame. What got you interested in doing this? I bought this property in 2005 with this hill in mind. I wanted the hill, nobody wanted the hill. And he put the rocks up and he said, so what do you think? And I said, yeah, they're rocks. And then he plugged it in. <laughs> oh my God. So you were happy as soon as it got turned on. Oh my Lord. Well, look at how this was the only flat spot on the hill that didn't have anything but creepy crawlers on it. What made you decide to go with Scott as a contractor? My granddaughter lives outside of Baltimore and she Googled pondless waterfalls in Boonesboro and up came these landscapes. I was up in Pennsylvania at a huge nursery that had water features run by an Amish guy. And I thought, I wonder if that would look good. And so I went with the little one and I thought I was going to put it down here. And then I got some other contractors. One said he couldn't put a waterfall on a hill like that. Yeah, no, you can't put a waterfall there. There's a hill. <laughs> I love how he's stacked. You can't really see it. I'll do this. I love how he's done the slate work. It's the little details like that slate work behind the waterfalls. And then of course at night there's a light and it just glows. That's the difference between a certified aquascape contractor and a guy that would just throw a rock in there. Stuff like this. Now, did you start with this or did you add that? I added it. Water loving people always want more water. Look at that, how cute that is. Okay. Oh, wow. At nighttime, it's just so. This is it at dusk. Right? It just glows. This is it at nighttime. Mm hmm. <laughs> this is it in right the there. winter time. It's beautiful, That's 365 right. days out of the wow. year. This is what I see from my back door. <laughs> a lot of people don't understand the maintenance. You are a 77 year old great grandma. What's the maintenance like for the water feature? Every once in a while I'll fill the tub. For the water feature, all you do is add water. That's it. That's awesome. I don't add any of those little extra little things to make it clear, give it a color. Do you put it on a timer or does it run 24-7? Oh, 24-7, 365 days of the year. The scout with uh, Pond by B, the B team. So happy with this water feature. I love that we did the rock work in there, the flat stone there, and at the top, the little details. This pondless waterfall, it has the vault all down in here. The pumps housed here and the plumbing's run up hidden in the soil. There's very little maintenance with this water feature, but I love how the twists and turns go. So this water feature has about 5,000 pounds of Pennsylvania boulder, it has the Delaware River gravel. It's very common in this area. A feature like this you can have in your backyard for right around thirteen dollars to $15,000 with LED lights. 
on a timer. It's just a great addition. As a designer, I was thrilled to see this slope. Just happy with how this turned out. I'm almost even more thrilled with how the customer appreciates this water feature, utilizes it. Her being an artist as well, that means a lot to me that I met her goals and, and she can sit here and enjoy this thing. A really cool pond list for 13 to 15 grand. You can have this in your backyard. How awesome is that?